Hi everyone, this is Alaire Games, and today I'm watching episode 17 of Fate Grand Order. Uh, man, last episode was, uh, something, wasn't it? Ah, <sighs> well, it's time for Tiamat, I guess. Oh god, those things. Well, they can't really fly. <laughs> the goddess me. <laughs> That looks really cool. But, yeah, that, like, song, that... In the game, too, it was kind of underwhelming. Like, it doesn't feel like it's, like, this really loud, uh, penetrating voice. It kind of just feels like someone's going, Ah! There's like a slight echo filter applied, or effect. That's better. Are you now? <laughs> I'm glad that they're giving Fujimara more cool things to do. Oh! Is that our noble phantasm? Oh, yes! <laughs> that looks amazing! That is so cool. Yeah, that pretty much is her noble phantasm <laughs> in the game. I mean, it looks better. That is so cool. Well, they'll recharge in a while.
Here we go. <laughs> yep, the brain. Now this is big. <laughs> this is true scale. This looks strange. I don't know how, about, how I feel about this one. Alright, now it's normal, but man, they really love using 3D for characters in this. That just looks bad. No. Oh, man. But yeah, this is when it starts spreading. And in the game, like, it actually does cover the map, which is really cool. The map, like, actually changes as you play. I really... no. I mean... why? Like, it's a good quality model, but like, why... She looks worse than than Gorgon. But I thought he was gonna punch the the bird. That would have been messed up. That doesn't look good. I mean, I guess you could kind of think of it as like. You know how they usually use 3D for really large objects. There's objects in general, like a city or landscape, and she's so huge that she be, she could be considered like part of or her own landscape. So maybe that's why they're using 3D. But even then, it's still a character, so it just doesn't look right. It's supposed to be living. Wow. Anticipation or dread? This sounds like, uh, End of episode dialogue, but it's not.
Quite a bit. I mean, <laughs> there's two improvements I could make. <laughs> <laughs> I love Jaguar <laughs> Jaguar Warrior. She just <laughs> She's never not silly, and it's amazing. <laughs> God, I love her so much. I remember this part. Yeah, she can move it around. Well, this is a lot of, um, you know, a lot of light now. God, I love it every time she gets flustered. <laughs> oh, they both reacted. <laughs>
<laughs> Gilgamesh's reaction. <laughs> Yeah, about that. <laughs> oh, this is this moment, man. Time to let them all down. Show, <laughs> show your nature, Ishtar. <laughs> They're still celebrating. <laughs> and of course, Jaguar Warrior still celebrating. Oh man, this moment was like, oh my god. Oh, Jaguar Warrior, I love you. <laughs> I need a gif of that. Oh, come on. But yeah. Useless goddess. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. <laughs> She pretty much is, you know, Fate Grand Order's version of Aqua. That was a fantastic episode. Man, it had a lot of good stuff, didn't it? Oh, man. This, like... Last episode was, like, heart-wrenching. This episode was just awesome in so many ways. It was funny. I mean, it's, it had Ishtar, it had uh, <laughs> Ishtar's moment there. I've been looking forward to that one. But uh, it also had uh, Arash's, like, super adorable moment that I've been looking forward to the whole time as well. Uh, 
So that was good. But I think one even better is coming later. Um, it also had uh, Ishtar's NP, which, man, that looks so good. And P's in, in Fate Grinder already look already look pretty great, but like in like full anime form like this, it just looked fantastic. It's at the same time, like it was like a really fun episode, but at the same time, like there is a lot of despair going on because of just how you know desperate things are getting. They're basically just trying anything that can be done. Yeah, next episode, man. Oh, man. The things that are coming are going to be so freaking epic. This story is just so freaking epic. The story of Fate Grand Order, like, I love it so much. It just encompasses just, like, a really fantastic journey in terms of scale and meaning that so far, I don't think too much is on par with it. It is a bit of a shame that they do have to skip over so much in the anime, but, well, at least some of it. We're getting, like, we're getting a very good look into it. And what is being shown is done so well, for the most part. So, I'm really happy about this show, and it continues being amazing. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this episode, uh, this reaction. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.